some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Hawaii, where we encounter a newbie frauditor who appears to be a disciple of Sean Paul Reyes, Long Island Audit, going by the channel name Hawaii Island Audit. Yeah, real original, dude. But at any rate, he refuses to show his ID when going into a Hawaiian taxation office and, well, is denied service and uses the same tired old arguments that Sean Paul Reyes has used in the past. Yeah, nothing original there. And of course, he's eventually denied access to the office. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Department of Tax. Okay, may I see your ID, please? No ID. Oh, you don't have Just any... write this one. Oh. Yep. Era I... TVT. Who is this? Uh, is that your mom or your auntie or who is that? Uh, Are you here to see somebody? I'm, ho I'm here to do a business in the Department of Tax. But you don't have any ID? I don't provide ID. I'm sorry? I don't provide ID. Why is that? This is a public place. No, it's the taxation now. Uh... Yeah, it's public place. Okay. So you want to go to back there, please? Yes. Okay. Go Thank ahead. you. You're now this part right here was a complete fail on this security guard right here. He should be retrained because the guy provided somebody else's ID and still let him through. So there was a little security whoopsie that happened right here. What if there had been a more serious situation and you let another person through like this and uh, some unfortunate series of events happened? I mean, you probably would be held responsible for that particular situation right there, dude. So you really need to do your job a lot better than that. Here, I'll put your phone in here. Okay. Thank you, sir. They might ask you for an ID in there, okay? Yeah, they might. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We need some forms. Here's all the different forms. We need the this one is this the place to register GE tax uh, and then we just grab form over there I'll give you the form and then when you're done filling out grab ticket in okay. like Albert thank you so much okay. we fill out the form you can't be doing that I'll wait for the sheriff Okay. Now this video is 36 minutes long with circular reasoning and dead air all throughout the video and some fanboying on his part of Long Island Audit. And as such, I'm not going to show you the same argument over and over again. Now that'd just be asinine and boring to say the least. So we'll be skipping around a bit between his fanboying of Long Island Audit and, uh, and his rehashing of tired old arguments. Many, many minutes later. You're video recording us, but it seems to be an issue when we video record them. Yeah, definitely a hint of Long Island audit style right there. I mean, no originality to it whatsoever, and no thought put into it at all, considering that those cameras are there for security purposes and will not be sold for profit on the internet. So my advice to you, Frauditor, is to just get your own damn style like all the other more successful Frauditors out there. You gotta come up with your own style, dude. I mean, do better. Many tic tacs later. Sheriff is here. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing, Sheriff? Hey, not bad. Take off your mask for me. Okay? So, what's going on? He called you, officer. What's that? He called you. Sir, sir, we have it here in plain English. Okay. Before entering this department, you must show an identification. He refused to do so because. This is a public place. Okay, okay. So we went back to the taxation and then he showed the ID to the window. But according to the workers there, everyone must show their ID before entry into this Okay, so are you do you have are you are you going in? 
I did, but then um, he called you guys for Why? me because I was video recording and I'm video recording okay, right now. You refused to show me your ID, right? That's correct. Okay, so if you have business in here, you have to show your ID. I don't have to. Okay, what's that? I don't have to, Sheriff. Yeah, everybody gets ID when they come through. You have to walk through the metal, metal detector. Make sure I, did, I, I, did, I did walk through the metal detector and then I gave a name for it to be registered in their log book. You gave a name, but not your name. So therefore, you are uh, kind of being fraudulent right there, dude. Especially since you also gave them the uh, ID of somebody else, uh, which is also a bit suspicious on your part. But you did not give me your name, did you? Well, that's the, the, the tax has added to okay, yeah. the minimum requirements. Okay, They want you to show ID walking into the tax ID building so they know who you're talking to. As far as I know, I don't have to show well, ID. As far as you know, you don't have anything in writing, right? <laughs> you know what that translates into, uh, Frauditor? Citation needed, you freaking moron. If you're going to make a claim, then you got to have backup for it. And if you don't have the backup for it, then you're just full of shit. Oh, no, it's okay. the... So when you, find, when you get that in writing, come back and show it to them. And then share it. Share the Fourth Amendment says that I, I don't have to subject to search and seizures. It's and, not a search and seizure. And me giving, me giving up my identification you know is part of it. People... Uh, like the officer said, you're not giving up your identification card. What you are doing is you are presenting it to them and they'll give it back to you. And besides, your ID card is not your property to begin with. It is the property of the state that issued it to you, you jack wagon. So as a result... The Fourth Amendment does not apply in that particular situation. Come in here and false claim things. I'm not claiming well, falsely. I know, we don't know yeah. that. So, I'm, well, not, I'm, not, I'm not here to falsely claim anything. Okay. Uh, and we don't know that, though. So, so you're, so you're saying everybody who walks in here is telling the truth, yeah? Sir, you're saying that if I don't show ID, I will be... No, they, won't, they just won't help you. Though. They won't help me, but I can go into the public place. To go into here, you have to go to the metal detector and show ID. To get into the service, right. sheriff. That's all. That's, that's all you need to do when it's in your tax business. Right. So if you don't which, have any tax which, business, which I have a tax business. Then show your ID. And I don't have to. Come back another day. No. That's that's what you have to do to get in. You should deny service. You shouldn't deny service. Not because I don't have an ID. I pay taxes dollars. Everybody pays yeah, taxes dollars. Taxes. We all right. Tax right. If I have to go in there, I have to show an ID. I don't have to show ID. Okay, then don't go in there. I can go in that's there. That's their rules, not ours. But you, uh, you enforce laws, sir, I don't, respectfully. I enforce, I enforce laws, not rules. Right, and they're making up they're rules. Been, no, they're adding to the rules. No, for the but it's the the U.S. Constitution is is more important than the, the rules they have. The U.S. Constitution says no illegal search and seizures, right? Which me... That's not a search and seizure. you go to the bank, you have to show ID? That's different when because... When you go to the bank, you have bank, to show ID. Bank is a private. Right. This is public, sir. It's not Sir, sure, what's your uh, name and badge number, sir? Right Right here, what's, what's it, sir? Right here. You're filming me, right? It's right here. Badge and number, badge and um, name, sir. What's your badge and name, sir? Uh, Fiesta 1355. Badge and name, sir? I mean, it's clear as day, right? You can go in. I can you go in. With it, you can take it up with the... Sure, I went in. You can take it up with the... Um, I already went in. Right? I, I already went in, but then he called... Okay, then what's he, the problem? I don't know. Then why are you even calling us? He called. He called. Because it's plain and simple. It's right there in, in English and right. But he's already been in there. Why are you calling? Because he, he refused to show me. He already went in. Show me. Right? Yes, but. Okay, okay yes, but. Sherry, there is no but. Sherry, no, no. You're listen. not allowed. I can lose my job because he went in with You just shoulder. said he showed his ID already. Not right. to me. Okay, he's supposed to show the ID as he enters. Who did you show it to? Did you show no. her ID? No. Oh. So then, yes. To because I told him that. After that. You, you yeah. told me that. You, you told me what you just told me. You don't have to show your ID. I don't have to. If you do more research about it, all of us, I don't have okay, to show you, ID. You, you, you. Oh, you did research. Then please show us this research that says you don't have to ID when you enter this building. Please show it. Otherwise, like I said, if you don't show your citations, you're full of shit. Bring that back and 
you yeah. fight that with the governor? Sure, or, sure, but I but I can I can enter No, I can enter. Okay. I can enter the public place. Go, go ahead and try. Yeah, I'll try. You said you did that and you didn't get in. I did. I got in. I got this. Oh, and got then, a piece of paper. And then he called sheriff, so I waited here for you guys. Okay, so what are you going to do when you get to the window? Are you done with your business though? No, because you he called it. you guys. So what are you going to do when you get to the window? They tell you that you need to No, no, no. Um, then... No, your purpose over here. You got it? You oh. done? No. You just went in there and grabbed a piece of paper and left. So you're trying to cause some kind of ruckus for, the, for, your, for your video. Is that what you think, sir? Huh? Is that what you think, sir? No, I'm asking you. No, I'm not. I'm here to conduct business. When you, go, when you go in there, they're going to ask you to show your ID. This is a public place, sir. Oh, can I ask for a supervisor, sir? Supervisor. Can I ask for a supervisor, sir? I want to speak to your... Yeah, you can ask for a supervisor, but still not going to help you out in this particular situation, frauditor. One eternity later. Sir, I, I, I would um, refer you to watch videos like Long Island I've Audit. I've watched plenty of them, trust me. I watch, I mean, I, that's why I'm just talking to you. Do I, am I saying anything about you videoing me? No. No. That's great. But I'm also trying to tell you that from federal rules, the states can add too. You're right. Listening. Right, sir. But they cannot trump whatever the federal rules are. That's what I'm trying to say. So now we have it. We have this guy who says he's been doing his research by watching Long Island audits videos. Yeah, you have not been doing your research. All that's been happening here is you've been brainwashed by watching his videos and you think they're the truth or something like that. Well, it doesn't work that way, dude. There's the law and then there's Long Island Audit and Long Island Audit is not the law. Now there's another 20 or so minutes to this video. Let's just skip to the end where the supervisor pretty much lets him know that he's not going to get in there, at least not today. Many unbearable hours later. So right now, the administrative lady who's in charge of this building, she's not here. She's not here right now. Okay. Okay. Let me back up a little bit. Oh. Well, so she, because she's not here right now. Okay, we can't talk to her right now. Okay. I know you gotta come back right now. Yeah. I'm gonna come back and I'm not gonna show my ID. So, so when you come back, okay. We can delete later. We do it. Yes. So we come back. Sure. Talk to them. You can ask for her to come out and then explain why either way you need it or don't need your ID. Okay. Whatever. You know, whatever the case may be. Okay, we'll deal with it then. Okay, if there if there might there might be some paper HRS, ROH, HAR that maybe both of us don't know. Okay. okay. That says that you need to provide. But those service. rules should not. Okay. Right. Well, like, that's, no. that's, said, that's if if that's that's something that you would deal with the court. You understand? Okay. We we don't make the laws, right? We just gotta do our best to abide by and follow. Yeah. Right. Those are rules. So, right. So that's what I'm saying. So. Okay. That's going to be something, depending on where this level goes, where, where this all goes to, right? Okay. You know what I mean? We'll deal with it then when they get to the court. Okay. And get it situated. We'll do, like, like the other guy said, right? You go to the governor, go to whoever you need to go to. Okay. 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 But we'll start with the administrator, see where they're getting their okay. rules from. Yeah. Okay. Where, where they're getting their information from. Now I'm just going to go ahead and end the video right here, folks, considering that he presents the same tired arguments over and over again. Even from this point on, he has nothing original to say, and he still doesn't gain access to the building because, you know what, he just has no clue what the hell he is doing to begin with. He's just a disciple of Long Island Audit and a very bad one at that. So my advice to you, Frauditor, is to just quit while you're ahead and find something to productive to do with the rest of your life unless you haven't already screwed it up with any felonies or anything like that, which unfortunately a lot of Frauditors tend to do with their lives. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?